Good morning, dear friends, and greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm so glad that I could meet with you through this video and uh, a few minutes let us spend time together in meditating God's Word. Today's meditation is based on the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 14, where Jesus is talking about two different roads. Narrow road with a small gate to enter into it. And then a broad road and a wide gate to enter into that broad road. Now, narrow road and a small gate to enter it will lead you to life eternal, even everlasting life with Jesus Christ to spend eternity with him and rule with him. On the other hand, broad road with a wide gate to enter into it, this road will lead you to eternal death, which means eternal separation of your soul from God, the Creator, who lovingly created you. Now this symbolism in these expressions actually mean Jesus the Lord taught his disciples that we are not to expect majority of humanity to enter into this narrow road through a small gate. On the other hand, majority of humanity will enter through the wide gate into the broad road, which will lead you into eternal loss, and which means your soul is separated from God forever, and spend eternity with the devil. Let me pass on to you two thoughts from this passage. Not many people enter the small gate. Only few people dare to enter into this road because the gate itself is small and the road is narrow. I know many of my listeners know what this metaphor means. Jesus is talking about where you will spend your eternity. There are two places of eternity. Eternal life with the Lord Jesus Christ and with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. or eternal death in hell with the devil and demons. The road that leads to life is a narrow road and the gate to this road is very small. It speaks of a lot of restrictions and uh, limitations uh, both to enter and uh, once you enter to walk in this narrow road also means a lot of restrictions and sometimes un uncomfortable situations. One can enter the gate only through true repentance and deny himself to follow Jesus. Sincerely make all the efforts to obey the commands of the Lord Jesus Christ and earnestly seek his kingdom and his righteousness and remain true to him in true faith, purity and love. The one who endures till the end shall be saved. 
and shall be ushered into his reward of eternal life and rule with Jesus Christ forever and ever. Jesus in his Sermon on the Mount has promised great blessings which will accompany discipleship in his kingdom. If you read Matthew chapter 5 verses 3 to 12, you will read all these blessings that he has promised for those who will enter into this narrow road through the small gate. Contrary to some evangelists who propagate that getting saved is the easiest thing in the world. Now, Jesus, on the other hand, taught that following him involves serious obligation concerning righteousness, acceptance of persecution, and love for enemies, and self-denial, and taking up one's own cross, and following him daily, such people shall find eternity with Jesus Christ, and he shall receive great reward. Why only few people shall enter into this road? Because the passage we read, where Jesus insists his disciples will not, besides all these things I mentioned, will not escape persecutions as well. Now persecution for true followers of Jesus Christ is a promise with eternal life. And therefore, when persecution happens, Christians must be prepared and ready to suffer and endure it. We cannot even pray for uh, persecution to stop because Jesus very clearly, clearly mentioned a number of times that persecution is expected because this world did not accept Jesus and therefore, the world will not accept the followers of Jesus as well. But why, in spite of all that, millions of people choose to uh, die for Jesus rather than deny him? Why? Because Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation and the only truth and life by which one can come and be reconciled to God and uh, be saved and redeemed from the power of sin and Satan and also condemnation over sin. This is the only way. And so we rather suffer a short while in this world and gain eternity of happiness and joy and rulership with Jesus Christ. It is a choice that you and I have to make. This is the small gate with a narrow road will lead us to. Now, passengers on this road who shall at the end gain the broadness of life and the crown of life and enjoy uh, eternity with God Almighty. Life and, the, and, and, and uh, the, the, our expectation of eternal life is the thing that enables us and uh, makes us wanting to follow Jesus because He being God, came down to this earth in human form just to give us this life. Those who choose 
the wide gate an entrance and a, a, a gate entrance and a broad road to travel face no such inconveniences and a costly discipline there is no persecution for such people the world will love them and the world will accept them and uh, i want to mention one thing here the devil will give you anything that you want but jesus on the other hand he knows what is best for you and he will provide what is best for you he will never let his saints his followers suffer loss they may not be able to uh, become billionaires they may not to have a, a big bungalow here on earth or a costly car drive a costly cars here on earth no they may not have all these pleasures but they shall never lack any good thing that makes us real 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 uh, solid people who know their destiny and my friends every one of us has to face death one day because the bible says it is appointed unto man who wants to die and then the judgment if death is the end of everything it didn't matter but death is only the beginning of your eternity my friends now which eternity you will spend and uh, yes small gate with a narrow road requires tremendous discipline there are restrictions and there are uh, uh, sufferings and there is persecution and there is rejection and there is despising and ridiculing we have to go through all this and uh, there are certain Uh, instruction jesus said you love your enemies forgive those who persecute you and pray for them and that is what we do why because that will build up a character like the character of jesus christ therefore many shall prefer this broad road with a wide gate this road but this road will lead you into the narrowness of eternal loss in hell now the question i want to ask and close this is this which one of these two roads and gate you will choose it is a choice that you have to make god will not choose for you he plays before you these two roads and already instructed you the consequences and the result of choosing any of these road choosing the small gate with a narrow road will lead you into the broadness into the largeness of a life eternal with the, the the glorious redeemer savior jesus christ who said i am going to prepare a place for you and once i prepare it i will come back and take you so that you will be with me always wherever i am so that small gate with the narrow road will lead you into that place and uh, broad road with a wide gate where will it take you it will take you into the narrowness of hell eternal place of punishment because people reject they are given the freedom to choose but they chose to enter into this 
wide road and travel through the broad road. Why? There is freedom. There is plenty of space to walk in any way you want to. You can do what you want to and you don't have to care about what God thinks because you don't even care about God. And if that is the life you want to live, that is your choice. Many people ask if God is so loving, such a loving God, will he send anyone into hell? My friends, I confirm to you, God will never send anyone into hell. That is not his desire. The word of God tells us it is not God's will for anyone to perish eternally, but that everyone come to heaven to live with him forever and ever by believing and through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ become children of God. And the Bible says, so those who believe in Jesus, he gives the right to become children of God. Which road you will choose? Choose it today because time is short. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray that everyone who listened to this message, you speak to their hearts, grant to them grace to enter through the small gate and walk in a disciplined manner through the narrow road. That they may enter into the vastness, into the broadness of eternal life. This is your will for us. And for this you have given us grace. Thank you. Amen. God bless you, my friend, as you make your choice and enjoy life. God loves you. He has given you this day. This is the only day that is before you. Tomorrow is not ours. If you are alive, that will be his mercy. But make your choice today and be happy and have a very good day. Enjoy your life. Amen.